It was a tough call we heard. Judges had been deliberating for the better part of the day. And still, we were all kept waiting with the award ceremony delayed by almost an hour. Organizers also said that this year's Young Enterprise had eight clear winners. But in the end, it was Burst who took the top prize at the 10th edition of the Young Enterprise Awards. The group of young entrepreneurs devised a flexible silicon band called No Ties. After a rather fruitless meeting, to be honest, much of the horror of our link teachers and business advisor, we're actually getting up to leave. And Matthew over here, who's now demonstrating tying his laces, um, actually said to us, oh, one second, guys, I've got to tie my laces. And thus the wheels were set in motion. Having conducted their own research and commissioning, Burst has managed to secure a deal of exclusivity with a local fashion retailer and has also secured a deal with the Island Games that will see their product included in gift bags that will be handed out to competing athletes. Burst's efforts were also rewarded with a second prize, the Sales and Marketing Award. At this year's edition, organizers decided to do away with the traditional prize for second spot, replacing it with a new award. The journey takes into account a team's development throughout the competition, and it was Imperium who designed a portable digital charger that walked away with the new award, and they were also the recipients for the financial award. For their part, EcoVibe, who devised a reusable small book with a big message to help develop a positive, fun and motivating approach to recycling, took two prizes, the Innovation Award and the Award for Best Presentation. Following the presentation of awards, organizers also announced the launch of the Young Enterprise Alumni Scheme, a new program that will allow past participants to contribute by mentoring the next generation of young entrepreneurs.